Hello, my name is Jody, and I'm the Friday morning women's Bible study leader here at Calvary Chapel Rosarito, and I would like to welcome you to today's Good News, Ladies Edition. We've recently shared devotions on the fruit of the Spirit, which are the characteristics of Jesus. He is loving, joyful, peaceful, patient, kind, good, faithful, gentle, and full of self-control. The Beatitudes listed in Matthew chapter 5 are a list of what our attitudes should be as we follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Today, we are going to be looking at Matthew chapter 5, verse 5, and it says, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Another word for blessed is happy. Happy are the meek? Hmm. I love looking at the definition of a word, and de um, Webster's Dictionary defines meek as quiet, gentle, humble, and submissive. Meekness is strength wrapped in humility. Many people mistake meekness for weakness, but that is completely incorrect. Meekness is strength and absolute power under perfect control. Now let me say that again. Meekness is strength and absolute power under perfect control. Happy or blessed are the kind-hearted, sweet-spirited, self-controlled. Meekness is not weakness. Meekness is having the right or power to do something but refraining for the benefit of someone else. Meek is the opposite of arrogance, jealousy, and selfish ambition. Abraham, Moses, David, Paul, and Jesus are biblical examples of being meek. Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, wrote, a, Lead a life worthy of your calling, for you, for you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. That was Ephesians 4, verses 1 and 2. Matthew chapter 5 is, is called the Sermon on the Mount. And in this sermon, uh, regarding the meek, Jesus is actually quoting Psalm 37, verse 11. And that says, But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Now the world says, assert yourself, strut your stuff. But Jesus says, blessed are the meek, the humble, the gentle. The assertive, prideful mentality is no longer there. A meek person has, has learned that happiness doesn't lie in her power, position, or possessions, but in a relationship with God. Let's, let's take a war horse, for example. A horse trained to enter the battlefield is trained to such a degree that it remains calm and under the control of the rider while moving towards the chaos of battle. We need to remain under God's control in the midst of chaos around us. A God-controlled life is a life of meekness, humility, giving grace, forgiving, loving, and serving others. Remember, we, we are to have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Let's, let's walk as he walked in meekness with strength wrapped in humility, loving God and loving others. 
And that is today's good news.